What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul. Welcome back to another Top 10 video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 things you didn't know about Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Number 10. There's a criminal ranking called SA Goon, which only appears if your score is between 1000 and 1009, after which it goes over to the normal Goon ranking. Because of this small window, it's nearly impossible to see it. This ranking is a reference to the Something Awful forums, where the users are nicknamed Goons. Number 9. Ken Rosenberg is based on Sean Penn's character, Dave Kleinfeld, from the 1993 movie Carlito's Way. Both of them are lawyers, always supporting the protagonist of their respective series, and they're addicted to cocaine and also cut ties with them. In Kleinfeld's case, he was about to testify against Carlito and Tommy cut his ties with Rosenberg because of his drug addiction. Number 8. There was a deleted character named Mr. Moffat. Tommy Versetti and him knew each other from the past and Moffat had escaped prison again and was on the run. He called Tommy and begged for him to help. This conversation can be found in the game's files. Number 7. There is a model and texture file for a silenced Colt M1911 on the PlayStation 2 version of the game, but they go unused. Number 6. It's possible to acquire a bulletproof Admiral vehicle in the game during the mission Guardian Angels. In this mission, instead of helping Rico Diaz, kill him and fail the mission, and then store the vehicle in the garage. The car is bulletproof, fireproof, explosion proof, and strong in collisions. Number 5. The map at Sunshine Autos depicts several changes to the city before its final design. These include the absence of the Heyman Memorial Stadium, the rocks and lighthouse in Ocean Beach, Fort Baxter Air Brace, originally an air traffic control tower and a runway, and some roads, most notably the long road from the downtown police station to the ammunition. Number 4. In the 1.04 and 2.01 versions of the game, Umberto Rabina's Trojan Voodoo Missions intro cutscene features dialogue mentioning the word Haitians. In the 3.0 release, this was modified to remove any mentions of the word Haitian. Number 3. A pre-release screenshot of Tommy Versetti shows, preparing to throw a grenade uses a grenade texture and model from Grand Theft Auto 3. However, the release game uses a different model and texture, which are also used in San Andreas and Liberty City stories. Number 2. Tommy Versetti is heavily based on Tony Montana from the film Scarface. They both end up in exile, both rise to power in Miami using great amounts of violence, both build an empire from a large estate and mansion, both have short tempers and are prone to violence, both work as contract killers, and both killed their collaborators and took their ex-bosses' empires, and both engage in a battle with a large group of assassins at the end of their stories. However, Tommy survives his final gunfight with his enemies while Tony is killed. Even the mansions in the games are similar. Number 1. In the mission Auto Side, in which Tony must kill undercover members of a European gang, all of the targets are named after characters from rival sandbox games. Mike Griffin is named after Mace Griffin from Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter, Dick Tanner is named after Tanner from Driver, Marcus Hammond, Franco Carter, and Charlie Dilson are named after Mark Hammond, Frank Carter, and Charlie Jolson from The Getaway, and Nick Kong is named after Nick Kang Williams from True Crime Streets of L.A. Alright, that's going to do it for this top 10 video about Grand Theft Auto Vice City. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.